Please, God, this is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. You see my title. I'm going to wait till you guys get up on here. Praise God. Praise God. Give him glory. Give him glory. Oh, I have a story. I have a story. I have a story. I have a story. And the crazy part is before I have class like every day. So I usually do not get on any social media before I actually do a class because I want to conserve everything. Right. But honey. Praise, glory, 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 glory. Let me tell y'all what happened. I had to get up on here. My God, my God. If you remember the last video, and I still owe you guys that video. You remember the one that I tell you that was juicy? The enemy been fighting on that video. It's been one thing after, you know, like, I don't even want to speak too much because you remember death and life are in the part of the tongue. But, you know, my dad is still going through. Praise God. Praise God. We fight and we fight. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But God, let me tell you what happened. So I've been fasting every day, you know, because today's I think it's the 30th day. OK, so we got what? Ten more days to that 40 day fast. Guess what? After we finish now, I'm going to give people about a week. But after that 40 days, I'm going back the next day on a 21 day. <sighs> I feel the glory of God. Let me tell you what time it is. First of all, let me tell you about what God was talking about. The title of this is, and God bless everybody. I'm sorry. Y'all Y'all know when I'm going, I'm going. The power of God is real. Thus said the Lord. He is about to put a back a flame in the people of God. So let me walk this thing out. God, he, he, he's so strategic. He said that we have lost. And, and when I say we, he looks at us as the body of Christ. He said we have lost our flame. And we've traded fame for flame. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Traded our fame. I mean, our flame. For fame, he said, oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. And look, I don't care who disagree. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to walk this thing out. God was saying it's time to put the fire back in your step. Come on, somebody in your belly, in your mouth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because right now he need us. He need the room that to stand like never before. That's why there's pressure. That's why there's pressure applied. He's applying pressure. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So he was talking, talking to me about Moses and the burning bush. So let me just talk to you for a minute about this. Praise God. I got to slow down. I get so excited, y'all. All right, so Moses in the burning bush. The angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that through the bush was on fire. It did not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone to look, God called him, God called him to, to him from within the bush. He said, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. God says he's gonna, he's gonna cause a fire. Let me slow down. Let me tell y'all what provoked this. So my daughter, you know, she's a uh, professor at Spelman and plus she actually works in the school system as well. This girl just works. She just, and she, she's just an educator. And she loves the people of God and she loves children. That's her thing. She loves to educate. So she was hungry. So she said, mama, oh, I want something to eat. So I said, okay, girl, look, I, I'm, I, I'm floored. I got, you know, dad to the doctor, this, this. I said, but what you want about baby? So I went by there and she had a candle. She had a candle that one of my students, come on somebody, ex-students rather, but she's always a student, she makes candles. And so I gave her one. I said, she handmade these purple and white because I liked it. And let me tell you what happened. When I walked by the candle, the candle went, <laughs> it, 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 it started in flames. I'm not kidding. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I, I can, hey, I can make her do a video on it. Okay. Hallelujah. And so she's teaching up in there and I'm not gonna lie, it caught me, but you know how you, you're in a daze. I kind of just look like, Ooh, what's going on? Because you know, at first I'm not understanding. She said, mom, what you doing? Blow it out. So I blew it out because it was that I've never seen anything like it. There was no wind. There was no one messing with it. And so when I got home, which maybe about an hour to an hour and a half ago, you know, I'm going to go to God. I said, God, what was that? I didn't feel anything evil at first. You know, I was like, Hmm, I gotta, I gotta pray. We gotta see what go, what's going on. God said, the devil never answered by fire. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. He said, I am the great. I am. I answer by fire. He said, and that was for you. And he took me back to 1996. That's what he's been talking to me about lately. That's why I'm going through what I'm going through. Even with my uncle dying and y'all don't even understand what's getting ready to happen in my life, but that's okay. That's why I'm going. And I, I understand it. That's why I'm going after fast, after fast. Cause I'm like, okay, God, I understand you're pushing it back in me. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me. Let me continue. He say, do you remember in 1996, 
when you went in the bathroom and you said, God, show me your glory. Yeah, I was young, 27 years old. And I was like, I want to see the glory of God. And as the Lord liveth, a fire, a ring of fire went on my head, around my head. And to be honest with you, my nickname in the ministry is fire starter. That's why I get so riled up. Baby, I don't have to, you don't have to ignite me. You don't have to stop me. I'm already, because guess what? I'm not supposed to be here. He saved me. He delivered. He healed me. And he still lives. Hallelujah. Let me continue. He said, I did that for you. He said, because I want you to know I'm with you. I, I know I'm allowing some things to happen right now that you might not quite understand. He said, but it's not just for you. I want you to get on there and encourage the people of God. I'm still God. You should have seen that fire. I, I couldn't even, you know, I have my phone with me. I, I couldn't, I didn't even have enough time to even, you know, me because I, I videoed it. I was so much in the days because... You should have seen how the fire lit up. And the crazy part is they had a plant right there and it never consumed the plant. You didn't hear what I just said. It didn't even consume the plant. And it was that it, it was out of control. From a little candle. The candle wasn't that big. He said, my ministers are supposed to be ministers of flame. Hallelujah. He said, do you remember? And, and I got I, I to gotta talk about something that you might not like. He said, when you was in California, he said, you had a different anointing, Deanna. He said, but I allow so many things until you push back a little. You remember I told y'all that. So that's what's been happening lately. Remember when I renounced the title of apostle? Ever since I did that, I've been feeling the fire of God like, even in my feet. I used to feel it in my hand all the time. I used to tell y'all about it. I feel it in my feet now. I feel it in my hand. I feel it everywhere. I'm not kidding. So when that happened today, he said, that's why the enemy is messing with you. And he has permission. He said, so I'm going to need you to be stronger than you've ever been. He said, but you tell my people too, I need them to rise up too. He said, because we're in a war. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, there has to be a consistency. He said, here's what we do. When we feel that pressure from him, you know, because sometimes he'll allow pressure on purpose. And he said, we back up sometimes. Oh, come on, somebody. I did it too. We, we back up. Or, or, or we rest a little too much. Or we like to go on vacay. Come on, somebody. Because then, guess what? The enemy they came into the church. Oh, you got to understand how he played the church. And I'm going to talk. I'm, I'm going to still get to that video. He played us by manipulation, making us want what the world has. Now everybody wants to be famous, a famous name. Now everybody wants three or four cars. Everybody wants a mansion. Every, come on, somebody. And to be honest with you, let me tell you how this thing was supposed to go. The whole church, the tabernacle. If we're going to start from the beginning in scripture, from the tabernacle of Moses to the tabernacle of David, let me tell you how they took care of the people of God. They did give tithes and offerings. So y'all can just stop that foolishness right there. All right. But it is not supposed to be just for a person to be like flossing. No, 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 no. They put it in. They put it all together in one big wooden bowl. And they took care of the elderly first. And then everybody else they took care of. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. As there was a need. So everybody was taken care of. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all not going to like me. It wasn't just the pastor. It wasn't just the preacher. It wasn't just the first lady, which is which. that's not even biblical. But we, go, we ain't going to touch that because y'all going to get mad. Talking about, don't talk about my first lady. Well, she might be a lady, but she ain't first. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If we're going to talk about a first lady. Hallelujah. Have scripture behind it. Hallelujah. So, so let me get back to the story. God was saying, Deanna, that's why I got you in position, especially in Atlanta, because Atlanta is a big demonic hub. As a matter of fact, Chicago, L.A., uh, Atlanta, San Francisco, I, I can keep on naming them. And, and trust me, I'm going to do those videos, everything that I'm going to come back because I got to get ready to go for class. But let me tell you something what God was saying. He said, I need everybody to start being more consistent. I need them to stop being worldly. I need them to fast. That's why you're getting hit like that. Because you ain't you ain't ready. Let me tell you something. You won't last if you don't fast. And I have to be very transparent. I stopped doing what I used to do. When that stuff started hitting, I just kind of backed up. Oh, come on, somebody. That's, that's Let's just be real. I'm going to keep it 100. I have to. But when God started talking to me and, and I started, I went on that, that last, this fast, remember? Because that's how I renounced the apostle. Something has happened ever since this last fast that I came and explain. And he said, did you remember 1996? And I knew when he talked to me about that the other night, I said, oh, I'm about to go through it. I said, but that means the powerful anointing coming back. Y'all ain't ready. I'm just going to keep it real. Now, I've always been anointed. Don't get it twisted. But I'm talking about that power. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm not trying to brag. I'm telling you, I know what's inside of me. Let me tell you something. It was in 2003, 4, and 5 when I had a uh, mentor and me and her would go in a church together. My eyes, sometimes people say they saw fire. I said, well, people say, people used to come up to me and say, who are you? And I would just look at them and walk away. It, 
I was no nonsense then, and I'm no nonsense now. But 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. It was some things that happened. Just like you, you're going through some things, God said. And when we go through some things, sometimes it weighs us down. God said, that's where you have to position yourself, Joshua. Oh, come on, somebody. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you with the Joshua generation. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And it's time to march around three times. And you ain't gotta fight, God said. God said, when I say shout, hallelujah, he say shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to fight for you in this hour. That's why we're missing it. We're trying to fight ourselves. Oh, come on, somebody. The church is so worldly into that you're cussing, you're fussing, you're getting on Facebook, you're doing this, you're doing that. Your position is to pray. Hallelujah. God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Your position is just to pray. And God said, I'm going to do it. He said, because when you pray, he calls a fire over their head. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's all your position is. So you got to transition back into position. We're doing too much. The church have to come back to the church the fire inside let me tell you something about that fire then i'm gonna get up off of here it's something about the fire of god you see the fire may be with around you i i god may i'm telling you god gonna allow some hard things sometimes make you make you feel like god is not with you but what he's really trying to tell you is the fire in the inside devours the fire on the outside he that is in you hallelujah is greater than he that is in the world hallelujah Oh, but the enemy got everybody thinking that he 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 biting around here. You know what I'm saying? He 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 acting like he a big dog, but I'm gonna tell you right now, he just a little scrappy. Oh, come on, some y'all remember Scrappy doing Scooby Doo? Yo, scrappy used to do a lot. I'm not gonna lie, huh? It was almost like it was his movie, huh? Oh, but honey, let me tell you something. He says, "I am the great I am." You gotta know that you know that you know that you know that you know in this hour. And let me tell you something. Yes, they're gonna come. Tests and trials gonna come. It's gonna feel like they it, you you you're not gonna make it sometimes. It's gonna feel like people didn't love you. They didn't lie. Let me tell you something. I go through so much it doesn't even make no sense to me. Hallelujah. However, I've positioned myself. Oh, I I I, I gotta I, I gotta I gotta be. I, I get up in the morning and I have the word. I try to go to bed with the word. I'm always got that word going up in here. Hallelujah. And today they're starting to speak the word. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. Because I realize, oh, come on, somebody, and I'm going to get up off of here. Let me tell you what Jesus did. Jesus spoke the word. He didn't speak his opinion. He didn't quote others. He spoke the word. He said, I only speak what I hear my father say. We got to come back to speaking the word. That's what's going to hit Satan. That's what's going to stop Satan. That's what's going to elevate you. That's what's going to give you peace. Oh, hallelujah to his name. God say, we got to go back. Go back to the old landmark. We didn't did too much. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be real with you. Everybody after prosperity. He say, and, and, and I, I wish that you have good success. He said, but I really want you to have good courage. Joshua 180 said, I, I, I be meditating this book. My Bible's over there. Meditate in this book night and day. And then you will make your way successful. Y'all trying to do it on your own strength. It will wear you out. You cannot do anything in the flesh but fail. Oh, but when you get full of the Holy Ghost. Oh, they can't stand because the Holy Ghost do the most. Oh, hallelujah. He's the best teacher. He's the best preacher. Hallelujah to his name. I feel the power of God up in here. I just want to encourage you. Oh, hallelujah. But when I saw that fire and I didn't, you know, you don't recollect things until after you pray. He said, do you remember 1996 when I made that fire go around your head? He said, I wanted you to see it even, even in a, that, that's why he, he did that to that candle. You had to see it. I wish I had a video, but I guess it wasn't supposed to be video because I just stood there like somebody crazy. I was like, all I know is I walked by the candle anyway. And my daughter said, mama, mama, you know, cause I, I'm in a daze like, <laughs> what what just happened here? She said, blow it out. And to believe it or not, guess what my answer was to her? I said, that's that anointing, not even understanding until I got back home. So I pray that I have encouraged you. And if I have time, because I really teach these classes, like I give it my all. But if I'm not too worn out, I'm going to get back up on here after class. All right. Around 830, something like that. Or maybe a little early. And I'm going to bring y'all that video. I've been telling y'all how the enemy got us, how he got the church. Because it was very simple, cunning, but that's how he does it. See, I keep telling y'all, he don't come. Y'all thinking you come. Urgh. He's very subtle, like a snake. That's why he used the serpent, because his moves is just like a serpent. That, that's why I don't like sneaky people. I don't. I'm sorry. I love you, but I don't like you. Because guess what? They are always plotting and planting. But God see everything.
That's why every day you got to ask for wisdom and discernment. Hallelujah to his name. I'm going to get up out of here, but if I have time, I will be back on here tonight. I just wanted to encourage you, and I'm going to read that title again because it, it encourages me. Thus said the Lord, he is about to put back a flame in the people of God. I'm talking about a real flame, not not nothing. You, you know, I'm going to be honest with just too much perpetrating and entertainment. People want to know, have you been with God? And they could see it. Oh, even a sinner can see it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Church folk, you didn't got into a bully spirit. That's not of God. God said, where are the fruits of the spirit? Joy, love, peace. That's manipulation. Anything that you try to make happen without the permission of God is manipulation, which is witchcraft, said the Lord. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.